It's been said that beauty is in the eye of the beholder. That's especially true in Los Angeles tonight, where in fact a boulder... For their safety, their staff, they move it during the day. It's very dangerous during at night because it's higher speeds on the motorway. Stay on the curb, please. Stay on the curb. Across the annals of history, transportation endeavors have not only symbolically, but also quite literally propelled the wheels of civilization forward. Prepare yourself for an exhilarating journey. showcasing the remarkable feats achieved by humanity when ingenuity meets determination. These trailblazers in transportation emerged as the original superheroes of logistics, navigating challenges without the hindrance of modern traffic woes. Join us as we explore 20 most epic transportation operations in history. Number 20. Moving a Submarine in the year 2004, an enthralling operation unfolded to relocate the historic German submarine U-505. This World War II relic, now an esteemed museum exhibit, underwent a monumental shift from its long-standing residence at the Museum of Science and Industry in Chicago to a newly designed exhibit space within the same institution. The meticulous undertaking involved a complex process, given the submarine's weight of approximately 700 tons and a length of 252 feet. The relocation necessitated the careful lifting of the submarine from its display area, prompting a team of seasoned experts to employ a sophisticated system involving hydraulic jacks, sturdy steel beams, and precision engineered dollies to lift and support the colossal vessel. Once elevated, the submarine was delicately maneuvered along a specially constructed track that traversed the museum's grounds to reach its new destination. The success of this intricate operation hinged on precise coordination, as any misstep could have resulted in significant damage to this historically significant submarine. Ultimately, the endeavor proved triumphant, and the U-505 seamlessly found its new home in a dedicated exhibit space. Here, it continues to captivate visitors with its compelling wartime history and engineering marvels, showcasing the remarkable achievement of the team that orchestrated its careful and awe-inspiring relocation. Number 19. Moving the Sky Bridge in a remarkable display of engineering prowess, Mamet took on the monumental task of transporting and installing a 650-foot-long bridge at Hong Kong International Airport, aptly named the Sky Bridge. This architectural marvel serves as a vital link between HKIA's Terminal 1 and its North Satellite Concourse, significantly enhancing the airport's overall connectivity. Undertaking the challenge of moving this colossal 5,100-ton structure across a distance of 2.2 miles, the company deployed a fleet of 264 axle lines of self-propelled modular transporters, innovative vehicles designed for precisely such intricate tasks. Spectators marveled as the bridge was carefully elevated above the support piers and then meticulously lowered into its designated position. Throughout the meticulous welding process, hydraulic experts from the company closely monitored the performance of megajacks, ensuring a seamless execution without a hitch. Astonishingly, this intricate endeavor was completed in just seven days, underscoring the company's efficiency and expertise. This feat demonstrates that when the clock is ticking and a project needs to be completed promptly, as in preparation for a holiday like the Lunar New Year, it's entirely achievable. Who knows, perhaps this method could be a game changer for those seemingly endless roadworks. Only time will tell. Number 18. Massive Spar Platform Let's dive into the exciting story of a gas platform named Asta Hanstein Spar. It's a huge floating platform located far away in the Norwegian Sea. This special platform is the first of its kind on the Norwegian continental shelf and is named after a famous Norwegian painter and writer, Asta Hanstein. While being built, this spar did something unique. It was carefully put together horizontally on big boats in a dry dock. Then, it was gently floated onto a huge ship called Dockwise Vanguard and taken to a fjord near Stord in western Norway. Once in the fjord, the spar was turned upright, and the top parts were added using a smart technique called floatover. The last part of its journey involved being towed upright to its place in the gas field, which is 300 kilometers off the northwest coast of Norway. To anchor the spar to the seabed, 1,200 meters below, they used strong polyester moorings. On December 17, 2018, the spar officially started producing gas, marking a big moment in its history. After this amazing journey, we hope the story didn't make anyone too dizzy with excitement. Number 17. Transportation of the World's Largest Evaporator 
Dongbang Transport Logistics, based in Seoul, Korea, made history by moving the world's biggest evaporator to the Yanbu 3 desalination project in Saudi Arabia. This special evaporator is vital for turning seawater into drinkable water. It's huge, measuring 137.9 meters long, 32.1 meters wide, and 11.4 meters tall, weighing a whopping 5,736.8 tons. Dongbang used 125 axles and 25 pairs of remote-controlled self-propelled modular transporters to achieve this big task, setting a new world record recognized by the World Record Academy. They successfully finished this tricky project by using advanced technologies and smart solutions to make sure the evaporator traveled safely and efficiently. Dongbang's experience in heavy transportation played a big part in this success, showing their commitment to providing top-notch logistics solutions. The Yanbu 3 d Desalination project is a significant effort to meet the growing water demand in Saudi Arabia. It's expected to produce over 450,000 cubic meters of desalinated water every day, aiming to meet the needs of over a million people. Dongbang's successful transportation of the evaporator is a major milestone in the project, showcasing the logistics industry's ability to handle tough challenges and go beyond what's considered possible. Number 16. Bullwinkle Oil Platform the Bullwinkle oil platform, completed in 1988, was a significant human engineering achievement and one of the largest man-made structures. Operated by Shell Oil Company, it stood about 150 miles south of New Orleans in the Gulf of Mexico, reaching over 1,700 feet in height. Holding the record as the world's tallest structure until 2010, it was later decommissioned in 2002 due to declining oil reserves. Transported in sections, the Bullwinkle platform was assembled on-site by skilled workers using large cranes and specialized equipment. Built to endure extreme conditions, it could withstand winds of up to 140 miles per hour and waves as high as 200 feet in the Gulf of Mexico. Functionally designed, the platform could drill in water depths of up to 1,732 feet and had a production capacity of 53,400 barrels of oil per day. Equipped with safety features like life rafts, emergency response teams, and protective gear, it was well prepared for hurricanes and adverse weather. While decommissioned in 20 the Bullwinkle platform remains a symbol of human innovation and engineering excellence, representing the advancements made in offshore oil exploration during its operational years. Number 15. James Webb Telescope the James Webb Space Telescope, set to launch in late 2021, is a transformative successor to the Hubble Space Telescope, aiming to advance scientific research. With unparalleled capabilities, the JWST allows NASA astronomers to observe the universe with meticulous detail, deepening our understanding of the cosmos. Transporting the James Webb Telescope to its launch site in French Guiana was a monumental task, ensuring its safe arrival. French Guiana was chosen for its strategic location and robust launch infrastructure. The transportation involved careful packing, followed by a journey from the port of Houston, Texas, on a container ship through the Panama Canal to the ports of Kourou, French Guiana. Specially designed shipping containers protected the telescope from environmental conditions. NASA engineers closely monitored the entire transportation process, ensuring the telescope's safe arrival. The global scientific community eagerly awaits the launch, anticipating groundbreaking discoveries and new insights from this cutting-edge telescope. The world is poised to gain valuable scientific knowledge from the James Webb Space Telescope. Number 14. The Buchanan Mansion. Preserving old buildings can be a headache for property developers, disrupting potential money-making plans. Hearing about a preservation order on a site can force a reassessment and even lead to scaling down projects. Yet there's something even more unwelcome. The daunting prospect of an impending IRS audit, an entirely different challenge. Now, consider the unexpected story of the Buchanan Mansion, a 125-year-old brick-built gem standing in the way of progress. To find a more convenient spot, this 300-ton mansion went on a journey, moving just five miles down the street. The intricate process involved carefully lifting, wedging, and inching the historic structure forward until it sat on enough wheels for transportation. Pulling off this huge task needed a team of 20 crew members spending over an hour precisely positioning the house. The big question lingered. 
Would the house make the journey without a hitch? Luckily, with no bridges on the route and thorough planning, the relocation went mostly as planned. The house now waits in its new spot, balanced on wooden cribs, ready for a fresh new foundation. This unique effort truly gives a whole new meaning to the phrase moving house. Number 13. Wind Turbine Blade In February 2023, a challenging task happened in China. Workers climbed a dangerous mountain to carry a huge 250-foot-long wind turbine to the top. Why? Besides being a cool spectacle for the internet, it was part of the president's promise to increase China's wind and solar power a lot, aiming for at least 1,200 gigawatts and to limit carbon emissions by 2030. Wanting to raise solar and wind power to around 11% of all power used showed China's commitment to helping the world stay sustainable. In gripping videos, workers carefully moved the massive 19-ton blade along a very risky mountain path. The blade wobbled and swung slowly from side to side, dangerously close to the edge with a steep drop of thousands of feet off the cliff. This tough journey took two weeks for each blade and exposed the delivery team to extreme temperatures, altitude sickness, heavy storms, and even snow. And remember, this was just one blade. It makes you wonder how many more of these huge structures had to go through similarly tough terrains. Number 12. The Transporting of the Giant Offshore Salmars Fish Farm Salma, a big Norwegian fish farming company, took on a big project to build Ocean Farm 1, one of the largest offshore fish farms globally. They used the Hua Hai Longship to transport this semi-submersible structure. The ship started from Qingdao City Shipyard in China and went to Freifjorden for deployment. Ocean Farm 1 is huge, measuring 110 meters wide and towering 68 meters high, making it the largest offshore farm globally. It has a volume of 250,000 cubic meters and is built to withstand earthquakes of magnitude 12. Around 20,000 sensors are strategically placed at the marine site for monitoring and automated feeding for the fish. This super productive farm can grow up to 1.5 million fish in just 14 months, making it one of the most productive farms globally. Unlike traditional fish farms, Ocean Farm 1 has a unique 360-degree revolving gate for cleaning fish nets and directing fish. The farm's design focuses on creating the best environment for the fish to grow and thrive. Salma, the proud owner of Ocean Farm 1, also has a 50% stake in Scottish Sea Farms. They got the first development license for the project on February 28th, and the eight permits granted for Ocean Farm 1 are limited to 780 tons of salmon and trout each, valid for seven years. This this innovative project is a big step forward in making aquaculture more sustainable and efficient. Number 11. Magnet. Get ready for an amazing journey with a special 50-foot-wide, 15-ton magnet. It's going on a 3,200-mile trip along the east coast of the United States, circling Florida and going from the Gulf to Chicago. Right now, it's at the Department of Energy's Brookhaven National Laboratory. But this is not just any magnet. It's a cool scientific tool made to measure tiny particles called muons, which only live for a super short time, 2.2 millionths of a second. This magnet creates a magnetic field 300,000 times stronger than Earth's. It's a delicate balance of power and fragility. Its coil can't bend more than a tenth of an inch to stay accurate. Now retired, we're sitting here with this uh, device. We just get to put it back together now. The fun part starts. To keep it safe, the magnet will be moved at a slow speed, about five miles per hour, using a barge and truck. Once it gets to the suburbs of Chicago, this special magnet will be a big part of an experiment measuring the G2 of muons. This helps in almost every physics theory. The experiment wants super precise results, aiming for an amazing precision of 140 parts per billionth. To compare, it's like measuring the length of a football field with an accuracy down to one-tenth the thickness of a human hair. Even though particle physics might not excite everyone, the potential for big discoveries is really exciting. If this experiment succeeds, it could open up a new era in understanding the super tiny world of particles. A giant electromagnet completed a 3,200 mile journey from Brookhaven National Laboratory in Long Island. Number 10, Colossal Machine. 
Watch the incredible journey of moving a massive piece of heavy machinery from its birthplace in a yard to its new home at Interpipeline, a $3.5 billion petrochemical project in Canada. Typically, large equipment is assembled on site after being manufactured in parts. The jaw-dropping footage features the star of the show, a 315-foot-long, almost 900-ton propylene propane splitter, making its grand journey through Canada in 2019. This colossal machine holds the title of being the heaviest object ever transported on an Alberta highway. The transportation process spanned four days, causing disruptions to motorists and commuters throughout the journey. While this record-breaking maneuver is an impressive feat of engineering and logistics, the sheer size and weight of the machinery suggest that such a monumental transport won't likely be attempted anytime soon. The footage captures not just a heavy machine on the move, but also symbolizes the significant challenge in industrial transportation. Number 9. Moving a Steam Generator Back in 2016, if you were near or around the Hudson River, you might have witnessed an unusually challenging and complex transport operation. At the time, a massive barge carrying a tower-like structure made its way beneath the Rip Van Winkle Bridge in New York. While this may not appear particularly remarkable, the reality was a much more intricate and difficult operation than it seemed. In actuality, it required months of meticulous mathematical calculations and careful planning to execute it successfully. A minor miscalculation could have resulted in the entire structure becoming stuck under the bridge or even being dumped into the Hudson. This was the movement of a substantial and extremely unwieldy heat recovery steam generator, weighing a staggering 4,000 tons and measuring over 120 feet tall. As a result, every detail was carefully measured, and the transport was executed at a slow speed of just 5 knots, taking a total of 36 hours to reach its destination. Number 8. Levitated Mass in 2012, an artist named Michael Heiser created something huge called Levitated Mass. It's a massive rock sculpture, as heavy as 340 cars, displayed at the Los Angeles County Museum of Art. People can walk around it to see it from all sides. This artwork became a big deal in the art world. The rock had to travel 106 miles from a valley to the museum, and it got a lot of attention in the news. It's been said that beauty is in the eye of the beholder. That's especially true in Los Angeles tonight, where in fact a boulder... The sculpture is a tall 21.5-foot rock attached to the sides of a 456-foot-long trench made of concrete. The trench is filled with crushed rocks to keep it stable. The rock is fixed to shelves inside the trench, so people can stand right under it for a unique art experience. But the most exciting part was moving this giant rock to the museum. Originally planned for August 2011, it got delayed due to permission issues. Finally, on February 2012, they started moving the rock from where it was found. Stay on the curb, please. Stay on the curb. They used a special transporter, which was really long and had lots of wheels. Because the transporter was so big, they could only move the rock at night, and it could only go about 7 miles per hour. Even though the distance was less than 60 miles, they chose a longer 106-mile route, going through 22 cities. This was to avoid busy roads and bridges that couldn't handle the weight. It was a tough job. They had to move trees, tow cars, and even remove traffic lights for the transporter to fit. The journey took 11 days, and lots of people came out to see the rock moving and stopping. Some even had parties, and someone even asked someone to get married at one of the stops. Finally, on March 10, 2012, around 4.30 a.m., the transporter arrived at the museum. Over a thousand people were there to see it, making the transport of a giant rock a really cool event for the community. Working on a rock? What do you mean you're working on a rock? How do you work on a rock? This one's odd. This one is odd. <laughs> Number 7. The Fairmont Hotel Sometimes, a historic building stands inconveniently in a prime real estate location, causing issues for profit-seeking individuals. And be able to renovate it into a building that's useful today. The typical solution is to demolish it, considering it's an outdated, unique piece of architecture. However, America, being both crazy and destructive, presents an alternative. Move the building to a different location. Take, for example, the Fairmont Hotel in San Antonio, Texas, a 75-year-old three-story British-built hotel weighing a massive 3.2 million pounds. In a complex operation, the hotel was lifted off its
its foundation and placed on 36 specially designed dollies with hydraulic lifts and eight sets of mining-type wheels. Despite the challenge of turning corners, it successfully became the heaviest building ever moved in such a manner. Number 6. GE Turbine in 2017, a really big General Electric turbine, weighing 187 tons, traveled from GE's plant to a power facility near Scranton, Pennsylvania. The New York State Police oversaw this huge move in New York. The turbine was 345 feet long and 20 feet wide, making it a big challenge for road travel. It went through central New York, affecting local traffic in Cortland County, Tompkins County, and Lansing. Although there was a short delay, when the truck with the turbine arrived in Ithaca, roads closed and people had to find different routes. Drivers were told to be careful because this massive transport disrupted the normal traffic flow. Planning for this move was as complicated as organizing a big banquet, involving a diverse team. Even experienced drivers found it tough to move such a huge machine from one place to another. In summary, this event not only showed how they moved a giant turbine, but also highlighted the skills needed to plan such a journey, underlining how hard it is to move large machines through busy areas. Here's today's subscriber's pick. Check out this amazing ship with an enormous load that's truly impressive. Instead of spreading the cargo out on a big ship, they stacked it up high, like a giant game of Jenga on the water. Imagine a tall tower of crates that seems to stay up against all odds, even with the wind blowing. It shows how skilled the captain is, a real expert at sailing, managing to keep the impressive stack steady. Originally meant for a larger ship, circumstances changed. And the captain, confident in their skills, chose a smaller vessel. Despite people doubting and questioning the sanity of this decision, the captain believed they could do it. Surprisingly, the shipment reached its destination without any issues, proving the doubters wrong. So, dear viewers, share your thoughts on this bold achievement in the comments below. Number 5. Lady Liberty's Torch Since its arrival from France in 1885, the Statue of Liberty has been a powerful symbol of freedom in the New York Harbor. More than just a statue, Lady Liberty represents freedom and has become a key part of the American identity. Over the years, the iconic statue has undergone various renovations to ensure its durability. In the 1980s, a major maintenance period involved encasing Lady Liberty in scaffolding for a thorough assessment. Unfortunately, it was discovered that her original torch was irreparably damaged during this evaluation, a significant loss given its symbolic role as a beacon of enlightenment. To preserve this iconic image, the decision was made in 1984 to remove the original 3,600-pound torch. Dismantling and lowering the torch was a challenging process. Once removed, it temporarily stayed inside the base of the Statue of Liberty, where visitors could see it alongside a replica of Lady Liberty's face. But the journey didn't end there. The torch took another adventure across the island to a newly built museum. Moving such a large and unwieldy object attracted the attention of reporters, but the operation concluded safely. Lady Liberty's torch and a spare face now reside in the Museum of Liberty Island, ready to welcome and inspire countless visitors in the future. Number 4. The Toronto Elephants Transporting elephants is no easy task. In 2013, three older elephants were set to move from the Toronto Zoo to the Paws Sanctuary in California, covering a significant distance. The careful planning and execution of this operation were crucial due to the size and nature of the cargo. Trainers spent over a year preparing the elephants for the journey, ensuring their comfort in transport crates. Throughout the trip, regular updates on their well-being were provided, assuring that the elephants were eating, drinking, and resting adequately. Skilled handlers and veterinarians accompanied the journey, making strategic stops for the elephants rest, food, and water. The convoy was well equipped with 54 bales of hay. The entire exciting event was documented and transformed into a documentary, allowing everyone to enjoy the slow and steady journey of these majestic creatures for generations to come. Goodbye, good luck. Good luck. Number 3. The Orphan Grey Whale in 1997, a three-day-old gray whale calf in critical condition was found off the coast of Marina del Rey, California, sparking a glimmer of hope. Dealing with dehydration, hypoglycemia, and a comatose state, the orphaned whale faced an uncertain future. SeaWorld San Diego stepped up as a rescue beacon, committed to reviving the fragile baby. 
Transported to SeaWorld, the whale underwent an extensive rehabilitation journey overseen by specialists. Over 15 months, the once ailing calf, weighing only a fraction of its potential, remarkably gained 20,000 pounds, a testament to the dedicated care it received. Once the whale was healthy again, the decision was made to return it to the ocean. While moving a 1,500-pound baby in a life-or-death situation is challenging, transporting a fully grown 20,000-pound whale safely to the sea requires a detailed logistical plan. SeaWorld staff showed exceptional commitment, carefully organizing a successful return. These remarkable images vividly depict SeaWorld staff's extensive efforts to ensure a safe journey back to the ocean. Against all odds, they achieved this monumental task, transforming the gray whale's rehabilitation story into one of the greatest success tales, illustrating the impact of human intervention and care in challenging situations. The prognosis for full recovery is, is no better than poor at this point. Number two, wreck of Seawall Ferry. On April 2014, the Seawall Ferry started a routine 13-hour journey in South Korea. However, tragedy struck, and three years later, in 2017, it arrived at a port as a rusted wreck. The salvaged ferry, after 1,801 days, was witnessed by families of victims and ordinary citizens. The sinking of the Seawall had been the country's most devastating maritime disaster, claiming over 300 lives, mainly high school students on a field trip. After resting on the seabed at a depth of 145 feet for almost three years, the ill-fated vessel was lifted out of the water on March 2017. The search for missing passengers' bodies then began after making the vessel safe. It was transferred to a dry dock using a rail-like transporter. Despite the epic maneuver, the situation is very sad, and it's hard to find enjoyment in such a tragedy. An accident which seven years afterwards still challenges the very foundations of South Korea. Number 1. The Didcot Power Station Transformer In 2013, a big and tricky task happened in the UK. They had to move a super heavy thing, weighing 637 tons, from Didcot Power Station to Avonmouth Docks. The journey was more than 80 miles, and the thing was incredibly long, about 294 feet. Moving this huge load required a lot of planning over several weeks. A skilled team, including a transport company, police escort, and other experts. For their safety, their staff, they move it during the day. It's very dangerous doing it. Worked together to make it happen. They took apart the load into five parts and carefully moved each section to its destination. They used special equipment like hydraulic trailers and cranes to help move and support the massive load on the journey. The whole operation was done very carefully and precisely. The police escort team worked hard to keep everyone safe, including the load, the public, and the roads. Finishing this project successfully shows how smart and skilled the UK's transportation experts are. It's a big achievement for moving heavy things in the country, proving that they can plan well, use advanced equipment, and always prioritize safety. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.